Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna Bryant, are at their final resting place. Two weeks after the NBA legend and Gianna tragically died in a helicopter crash alongside seven others, the pair had been laid to rest in a private Los Angeles funeral, according to Kobe and Gianna's death certificates obtained by Access Hollywood. To honor the mourning family, the late basketball star's rep could not confirm the news to Access Hollywood. Though the funeral was private, a public memorial will be held for Kobe and Gianna on Monday, February 24, at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, giving fans an opportunity to pay their respects. Kobe's widow, Vanessa Bryant, confirmed the date and time of the upcoming public memorial via her Instagram. The date and location play a special role as the Staples Center is where the athlete played basketball with the Lakers for his entire career. And 24 is the number Kobe sported on his jersey since the 2006-2007 season. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcietti also confirmed that a memorial was being planned in honor of the late star Gianna and the seven other victims of the crash. Quote, there will absolutely be a memorial to mark the contributions of this incredible man and not only him, but to commemorate the loss of his daughter and all the other families that were there, Eric told the Los Angeles Times. Quote, I think one message that I would say is this is not just about a man who is a basketball player. This is about a father. This is about a leader. This is about a filmmaker. This is about an artist. This is about somebody who is so much more than just how he was on the court. Earlier this week, the Antebelli family was honored at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California, in a memorial service that was open to the public. But the larger public memorial service for all nine victims comes at no surprise. Since the tragic accident, fan and friends of the basketball icon have been mourning his untimely death. Mark Cuban told Axis Hollywood why he decided to retire number 24 on his team, the Dallas Mavericks. I, I can't think of a better legacy. And so when we retired the number, it wasn't with some big plan or goal. It's just, you know, when people ask, I just want them to know that there's something behind it. And, and hopefully, you know, when people think Kobe, they think giving somebody a hug. And Mark Wahlberg also reflected on his time with his late pal. I'm a Celtics fan. He and I were friends uh, more than anything, and that was more important than uh, the Boston Celtics LA Laker rivalry. He was always go out of his way to be very, very sweet and kind to my family, and of course his wife and children, and all the other uh, family members of the victims on the helicopter. And our thoughts and our prayers, and you know everybody always. I, the big thing is, you know, every chance you get, tell your loved ones you love them, hug them, kiss them, hold them, because you know. Nothing's promised in this life, and so, uh, you know, cherish all those moments. Tyree shared to Access Hollywood the lessons he's learned from Kobe. It was a lot, man, uh, because thinking about everyone um, who tragically died on the plane, there's a saying that it's arrogant to believe the next second of life belongs to you. And forgive. Put yourself in situations to be forgiven, make peace, and like Kobe, wake up every day literally committing yourself to doing the best you can. And that's what he did. Um, you know, God forbid if anything ever happened to me, you might want to be Kobe Bryant if the world has to, to deal with an unexpected death. You might want to be him. And I say that in the most positive way. I mean, he accomplished so much in his 41 years on this earth. And you might want to be Kobe if anything like that ever happened.